What's up guys, I'm Random Frank P, and today we're going to be checking out the brand new Mass Drop Control Keyboard. This has got a lot of people talking right now, because it appeals to a wide variety of people out there, whether you're a keyboard enthusiast, if you're into gaming, coding, programming, anything like that, the control could be a good fit for you. So in this review, we're going to go over all the good stuff, the pros and cons, talking about my opinions, my experience, all that stuff in case you're interested in picking up the control. So this board is designed exclusively by the people over at Massdrop, and these keyboards are definitely a hit. The control itself is made of this anodized CNC aluminum frame, which is a lighter like space gray finish. And as you can see, it's in this 87 key layout. Now also inside the box, you get a few things like your USB-C cable. The color of this kind of matches the keycaps here. And they also include inside the box a keycap puller plus a switch puller as well. And we'll talk about the benefits of this in a minute. They also include magnetic feet for underneath the keyboard to elevate either its front side or its back side. You can choose. But right off the bat, I've always been a fan of these, you know, more compact keyboards. So the 87 key layout here, I think is great. It looks sleek and modern. Around the entire keyboard itself, you also have an embedded LED light strip. Then on the back side here, you have your two USB-C slots. One is for powering it and the other is for like, you know, charging a phone or data transfer. But there is one thing I want to mention right away, and uh, it's time we address the elephant in the room for people who are already familiar with the control keyboard. So it's better we just address this now and get it out of the way. The keyboard itself, while looking very nice, it's not really what we expected. Now, since it's released, they kind of pulled a switcheroo on the drop page and replaced all the old render picks with, you know, realistic picks of the actual keyboard now. All the renders we got were of a darker space gray keyboard, almost kind of like with a matte finish as well. And what we got, while still nice, is definitely different, but it is a lot lighter than I thought and than what tons of people out there expected. The frame is just a lot more reflective than I like, and even comparing the color to my Space Gray MacBook Pro, you can see it's just a more metallic look. And this has a lot of people disappointed, myself included, because I wanted that darker matte Space Gray look, not a lighter silvery kind of keyboard. They acknowledge it, they address this issue on the actual drop page, and they did extend a 45 day return window for people who want to return this, so that's good, but like I said, figured I'd address this right away, but now we can move on. Now one of the things I do really like about this keyboard is the fact that it is fully programmable. That means you can use this if you want as a gaming keyboard, maybe you're a coder, you can use it for that, or just simply use it for like your office work keyboard. And with QMK, you can go in and completely change it all up. You can make macros, keybinds, numerous layers, pretty much change any key to be anything you want with this. So that means once you have your custom configuration, you could download it, add it to this keyboard, just giving you all the control to your control keyboard. Horrible pun intended. So having a keyboard being fully programmable is just a huge selling point. Not a lot of keyboards are like this. And that's just one reason why this is so appealing, because this could be literally made for anybody. It's up to you what you want to use this for. Now the keycaps used on the control are of a lighter and a darker colorway, which are shine through double shot PBT keycaps. And they do have a slight, you know, grainy texture on it. I read that people aren't the biggest fan of it, but personally for me, I really like it actually. I feel it just give you a little extra grip while you're typing or gaming. Honestly, it's very subtle but to each his own. And I wanted to mention they also use a newer cherry style stabilizer in this board. One issue they had with the older K-type keyboard was that the, uh, the stabilizers were kind of rattly and felt kind of loose. So I'm happy to report the stabilizers here are much better. It makes a huge difference. Now another big plus to the control is that it uses their custom PCB. And with that, it's designed so the switches are hot swappable. That means no soldering or desoldering, and that is a huge benefit. Now I love this because that gives you the freedom to now change up all the switches and swap them, replace them with whatever you want and whatever you're comfortable with. And if you remember over the summer, we did this exact thing with the Mash Drop and Input Club K-Type keyboard. We completely modded it, switched out all the switches, added some of my new Box Jade switches to it, and it literally made it like a brand new keyboard. So the fact that we have hot swappable switches again is great because it'll save you hours upon hours of soldering and desoldering if you ever want to switch it out. And say if a switch dies on you, well now the whole keyboard isn't trash. You can just replace that switch. And say you wanna have certain switches, you know, in certain keys when you're gaming, you can all do that. Just save so, so, so much time. Now in the unit here that I have, I have Halo True switches inside. They are linear with a very slight tactile bump. And this was the first time I actually used these Halo Clear switches. And again, over time, say I don't like them or something like that, or new switches come out and I wanna try those out, I can replace these with them with no issues whatsoever because it's all hot swappable. However, I will do a sound test so you could hear how these Halo Clear switches sound.
And when you're on the site for checkout, they do give you five options. One being bare bones, which is just the keyboard, no switches or keycaps. Then you could pick between Halo True, Halo Clear, Kiowa Box White, and the Kiowa Speed Silvers. And now next up, we're gonna talk about the RGB lighting in this keyboard because it is a pretty big feature. It's gonna add that extra level of, you know, flair and pizzazz to your desktop. With the floating key design of the control and the way that the frame is kind of reflective with that aluminum, it definitely makes the lights appear brighter and give it an extra level of pop. And you also have a subtle strip in between the top and bottom layers of the aluminum frame. This is also gonna shoot some RGB lighting outward onto your desktop. So I'll run through some of the effects now, as you can see, but just definitely bright, lots of saturation. And how you switch everything up is with the function key. Holding down function and either A or D is gonna let you cycle between the lighting effects left and right. Function W and S is gonna be your brightness levels for increasing or decreasing. Function Q and E is gonna change your speed of the effect. Function tab will make any effect that you already have on the keyboard kind of pulse in and out. This is like a breathing effect. Function cap locks is gonna change the direction of the effect. If you want to disable the lighting, function X will toggle it on and off. And then function Z is going to kind of toggle the different modes. Say you just want the keys to light up, or you just want the sides to be illuminated. So pretty self-explanatory in terms of the effects. But the main thing here is function WASD to control all the effects pretty easily. So I'm a big fan of the way the lighting looks. You have the different rainbow effects. You can pick a static color. And there were those two at the end where it had like that red kind of, you know, like flashing, pulsing bar going back and forth. Um, there are plans to release software for this. You can go in and change that up. Uh, but at the time of this review, that is not yet available, which is kind of a bummer. So if you want to, you know, customize it even some more, change that pulsing effect to a different color, or just really make your own um, color layouts and stuff, you can do that whenever they release that software. So in the end, I really do like this control keyboard. You have tons of benefits like the hot swappable switch sockets with their custom PCB and the fact that it is completely programmable. I mean, that itself is going to make this appeal to everybody because no matter what your profession is or no matter what you're using this keyboard for, you can create your own layers, macros, keybinds, and be on your way. I am still kind of bummed that it's not that matte kind of darker space gray look that we were kind of promised with all the renders. The fact that it looks more silver is just, ah. Just really wish it was more matte and darker. And the moment you've all been waiting for, this is $200, which really isn't that bad. If you're someone out there who was younger or just like a casual gamer who's been using a $50 keyboard in the past, then yes, you're probably gonna think that's ridiculous. But for an enthusiast keyboard like this, with all those pros, you're not gonna find something like this out there for a lot cheaper. I think that price point is justified here considering everything you get, the, the functionality, all the customization you have to this, um, I think it's a good price for this keyboard. So if you are kind of like taken back by that, then this keyboard isn't for you in the first place. So if you guys want to check it out, I will put a link to the control in the description down below. So you can check out the drop, see when it's active and stuff like that. And uh, if you want to pick it up, I have it down there for you. If you liked the review, give it a thumbs up to show your support. Feel free to follow me on Twitter at randomfrankp. And lastly, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Well, I'm randomfrankp. Hope you enjoyed. Have a good day.